Greetings fellow captains and welcome back to another episode of World of Warships with the Hive Hand. And I know there's been a little bit of controversy, a little people, I've seen quite a few people complaining about uh, this campaign's hard mode. We're getting uh, two double strikes, two double strikes in a week. It's impossible, it's stupid, it's unheard of, what are they thinking? Yeah, Wargaming, what are you like? What are you like, Wargaming? Anyway... Um, back to the action at hand. Yes, this is me, playing the Kagarol. Yes, the guy that's like the worst DD player in the world, playing the DD, again. Um, this was from a little while ago, uh, basically when I was, uh, I was, uh, grinding out the, uh, the, the tier eights. Um, I needed to get a couple of wins in the Kagarol. Um, actually I needed to get quite a few wins in the Kagarol, because don't, I'm not the biggest DD player. It's not that I don't love DDs. It's not that I'm not good in DDs. I just... I'm a, I'm a cruiser guy. I, I love my cruisers. Um, but when I do take out a destroyer, when I'm not streaming, when I'm actually fully concentrating on the game, it turns out reasonably well on the, on most occasions. So... Let's uh, let's get into the action. So obviously, I, yes, I am playing solo. I actually play solo um, the the majority of the time. I do love, absolutely adore playing this game with friends. Um, it, it definitely, I feel uh, feel makes the game uh, more enjoyable um, purely because of the banter uh, between everyone. Um, but. I, I also do like to play solo a lot. A lot of people complain about playing solo, saying like playing solo absolutely sucks, uh, and like uh, you can't win when you're playing solo because like uh, you know divisions are overpowered and and so on and so forth. But trust me, don't worry. We'll get to we'll get to that in uh, in another video. And as you can see, this Asashio's fatal mistake or almost fatal mistake, should we say, was focusing on dropping torpedoes. Um, I have taken. A very insignificant amount of damage. Um, let's be real; uh, it's not really, not not really a lot. And and he's sitting there, and he's he's almost dead. He's very, very nearly dead. Um, and of course, we land another salve on him there. We do uh, a couple, a couple of more thousand uh, hit points with the damage. Um, but yeah, like don't be afraid to use your guns, even in a Kagero. Um I think the the Japanese DDs. Uh, particularly the the, the top boats, at least their, their guns are really underrated. Their alpha damage is huge. Um, it's just their reload time kind of sucks, and you definitely don't probably want to go toe to toe with you know um, an American gunboat or you know a Japanese gunboat like a, like an Akatsuki. And oh, would you look at that? The guy has already blown his torpedo reload. And yes, I am in fact using a Kagro with a top reload instead of smoke screen um i think i think dd players rely too much on smoke screens um you don't yeah you shouldn't need them if you're aware of what's going on on the map you shouldn't need a smoke screen um to uh to to, to cast victory because like the biggest problem with smoke screens is and this is an important piece of information you want to remember what i'm saying you the problem with smoke screens are people tend to sit in them and stay in smoke screens. And what happens when you sit in a smoke screen? Especially if there's a destroyer around. <laughs> Would anyone like to have a guess? Oh, oh, oh and look, there we go. <laughs> Double strike, devastating strike. <laughs> uh, we're we're not even we're not even uh, five minutes into the battle. And uh, and we've we've killed uh, two of the enemy already, and and got ourselves a double strike uh, because my weapons, my torpedoes, were fired off at the Brandenburg, and uh, the Asashio that we'd opened our guns on, and didn't sit there and fire or waste our torpedoes on like he wasted on us. Uh, he wasted two sets with his reload booster. Uh, in all fairness, um, yeah, we didn't waste time. We didn't we didn't waste. Uh, we didn't waste anything, uh, which meant uh, we could we could focus our guns on him, focus our torpedoes on other targets, and yeah, that's how you land a double strike. But back to the matter at hand. What were we saying? Yes, 
don't need smoke screens because if you sit in a smoke screen, dumb things happen. Like other DDs will throw some torpedoes in and you will go kaboom. <laughs> and, uh, and not only have you wasted a torpedo reload boost, which could uh, could potentially net some, uh, you know, some some serious damage uh, against the enemies, but you've also lost a DD. Uh, so remember that, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, remember that. That is that is that is something critical that every single player should know, especially DD players. Right, anyway, back to the match at hand. Right, okay, so we've got a set of torpedoes off of that Duke of York. Uh, I believe that we have missed the Duke of York, but then we also have the uh, the Kansas pushing in from behind. I think the Kansas is going to go around the back of the island, so our torpedoes are going to be uh, essentially uh, useless. Um, but that's fine. Uh, that, that's okay. That's not a problem. We have a torpedo reload booster. There is a synop sitting here. Uh, mm, not really doing a whole lot with this uh, with this maneuvering. Uh, if you look, we don't just fire the two sets together. We kind of spread them out. So if he stops reversing um, and starts going forward, there is always the potential to uh, to kill him. We did try and go for a sneaky kill streak on the Duke of York, um, but then, like I said. Never ever be afraid to use your guns. Now, why am I risking using my guns on the Z23? Well, that's why I've taken out his engine and I've already fired torps in his general direction. Uh, okay, and, uh, and we want him to not continue to reverse. Uh, there we go, we, uh, we fire at him again. And boom, there we go. Oh, would you look at that, he died. Oh, one, two, three torpedoes on the Sinop and there we go that is our second double strike uh, and our would that be our third devastating strike uh, in one match and I, that wouldn't have been possible if I was running a smoke screen and yeah um, what did I say about uh, not wanting to fight gunboat DDs the, uh, the Akatsuki is, uh, is an absolute menace uh, as a gunboat DD and yeah in a Kagerol like this is not something I want to get into a fight with um, but um, you know we will we'll take uh, we'll take our odd opportunities obviously he's shooting at one of our one of our friendlies uh, we're far enough away I, I feel confident enough that I should be able to uh, uh, dodge or at least mitigate uh, quite a lot of the damage and yeah look this is why this is why look he's he's fired three salvos when we fired a single salvo um, that is uh, that is definitely uh, not a situation you want to get yourself caught up in uh, all too often uh, but we, we score some damage we get a bunch of resets and uh, and you know hey ho uh, but <laughs> back to the battle uh, we're now in a we're capturing a we're pretty safe over here um, the Akatsuki is uh, is not uh, chasing after us we have him spotted and he is gonna fire up his smoke screen and disappear into the uh, the ether of uh, of foreverland um it's a smoke screen you know we might as well launch some torps in that general direction you know you never know you never know what's gonna happen you know is he gonna sit there like an absolute lemon or is he gonna move um only time will tell, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so we, we have a look here. We're out of range of the Kansas. Um, the there is a Belfast forty three. He's going to be in the smoke screen behind the uh, the Kansas there. But Belfast smoke screen. Belfast forty three smoke screen. This is pre buff Belfast forty three. Uh, it's smoke screens. At, what forty odd seconds? So there he's spotted and up. Hey ho! Another devastating strike. Kraken unleashed and high caliber because stupid DD players sitting in smoke screens you're kind of asking for it and uh, so that is yeah that's obviously Kraken that's kill number five um, I hundred percent if that island wasn't in the way would have shot at that Belfast and tried to get uh, tried to get another kill I am gonna fire torps to these Kansas like he's reversing back he's probably gonna reverse back behind the island uh, it's it's a fairly it's a fairly futile um, a shot, uh, but we're just going to farm him for some uh, some extra defend ribbons. Uh, see if we can uh, see if we can potentially uh, set a fire 
and uh, maybe, maybe even pick up kill number six. Um, who knows? Only, uh, only time will tell. Uh, so there's our fire. Uh, he instantly uses his damage con, uh, and in fact also uses his repair. You can slowly see his uh, his hit points going back up. And uh, yeah, uh, we're going to continue to uh, to fire aimless. Uh, yeah, like there's there's still a chance we can set a second fire, but our Alabama picks him off and cleans him up. So yes, there we go. Um, don't use smoke screens. Don't be afraid to use your guns. Uh, especially if it's to trap other DDs. And if you see a smoke screen, always fire your torps into it. That is 4,480 base XP on a win. Uh, so I do hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Hope you found this match as entertaining as I did. And until next time, take care.